Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of SEO Fairy Tales. With me today is Day Smart, technical SEO and dev at Tame the Bots, and I just found out you invented purple ceramics for use in jet engines. I did indeed, yeah. How did that happen? Uh, that was my first job um, out of school and out of uni. Um, I did material science in an aerospace lab and uh, got to work on that. It was great fun. What? Like first job? Okay, my my first job was a lot more boring than that, but uh, that is amazing. So you kind of did rocket science, uh, kind of ish. Ish. I mean, it's jet engines. It's yeah. pretty cool rocket, tool. Rocket science light. Fair. <laughs> We're not going to talk about rocket science light, unfortunately, but something that is somewhat looking like rocket science to a lot of people, which is technical SEO. You brought a technical SEO challenge to me that you experienced. Yeah. What sure. is that? Uh, it was uh, to do with service workers. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. No, OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, twice this actually happened. Uh, two people have approached to me now um, with sites <laughs> that uh, it just didn't oh, quite no. work. Um, one, um, it just didn't work at all. Mm -hmm. And they were relying very heavily on the service worker. So right. um, they were just ending up with blank pages and no indexing. Oh, and the other was related, but not maybe quite so serious in some ways. But they only end up with like partial indexing. Okay, but that to me is confusing because for those of you who don't know service workers, the idea is it's kind of like an add-on thing, like it adds to the functionality of a site, but does not necessarily, or not per se, have such an impact. Because what it should be used for, sure. I, I got to be treading carefully here, is that it should basically just be a layer between your site and the network, and that allows offline capabilities and push notifications and background sure. sync and stuff. Yeah. So what did they do? In the first case, um, when you have a service worker on a site, you need to register it. Yes, correct. Um, so the browser will come along, mm -hmm. it'll find the reference to the service mm -hmm. worker, register it. Um, try to register it. Try to register it, even. Um, however, what they were doing was waiting for that to happen before they were doing all the other client side rendering things. So before they went and fetched all the data and put everything to do, which Ooh. kind of worked for a user. Mm -hmm. Could be a little slow because you have to wait for that service worker mm -hmm. to register. However, for something like Googlebot, it doesn't register something. It True. Automatically yeah. So and that's actually not even a, a bug or anything, because the idea is, again, it's an optional feature that you might opt out of, or browsers might not support it. So you are requesting it to be registered, and it might fail or yeah. never register. And we actually document that behavior, um, because a service worker might change the behavior for a returning visitor versus a first-time visitor. And we assume that people on search results are first-time visitors. Sure. So. Yeah. How did you figure that one out? Because I think that debugging that is not super easy, is it? Yeah, it's not always very easy. Um, basically, a lot of what you're doing is looking for stuff that isn't there that should be. Um, so the first thing you can do uh, with them, with the Search Console, mm -hmm. um, we could look and see there's very little actually indexed. Mm. The very and lots of things like soft 404s. So um, say this, right. you know, this looks like an error page. Um, the few pages that were indexed were basically just the shell. So mm -hmm. when the site is client side rendered, they send just a minimal shell. Yeah, it's a placeholder, basically, a placeholder. until yeah. everything gets fetched in. Yeah, All right. that's right. And basically, that's as far as everything got. So then it's onto the live testing tools. So things like uh, URL inspector does a yeah. live test. Um, there's rich results test. There's yeah. the mobile friendly test. Yeah. Um, if you run it through them, you can see much the same result. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> However, what you do get is under the more info, a little tab you'll find on the side. Um, you can see the resources that are loaded in or haven't loaded in. True, you can see the re requests being yeah. made. Yeah. So that's it. So you can see if they've failed, uh, if they've been successful, mm -hmm. or if they've just not been tried at all. I was about to say, let me guess, you probably saw them not even being tried. Exactly, yeah. Oh, and then the conclusion would be, oh, JavaScript and Google search does yeah, not work. Does work. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, what there also is is there is there is a JavaScript console as well. Right. Yes. So that can give some useful feedback, but it depends a little bit on how the site's made because it depends on what they're logging out. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you have no error logging, nothing ends up in the yeah, console. So at that point, it's time go make friends with your devs. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. 
and go and ask them. Um, basically, that should be your first step after you dis discover that there is a problem. Go to your devs. But that's a people. tricky one, because if you don't know what's going on, what are you going to talk about with them? Yeah, well, that's the thing. You don't necessarily know how they built the site. Yeah. They know how they built the site. Fair. You know there's a problem. So okay, go and talk to them. And you, you start from the first step. You, you make little breadcrumbs on the trail through the path. Ah. And you talk through the process of how does data come from your server mm -hmm. and end up on the screen. So each little step along the way. Ah, and, then, yes, and then you can like buddy up and become like a de detective, detective tag team. Like, yeah, Ooh, that's OK, it. that's cool. Yeah. And get them to log each little stage mm -hmm. in a JavaScript uh, console log, mm -hmm. something like that. And then um, you see where it fails to continue. And you can continue. see where it fails. Oh. So then when you're running through the live test again, you can see exactly the point that something's not happened. Ah. And you, know, you can ask them, well, how does you call in your main content from yeah. API forward slash whatever, cats exactly whatever. from something, yeah. Yeah, and it's not coming through. Um, you say, well, how exactly does it happen? What function does that happen in? And tracing it through that way, you can find the point it falls over, mm -hmm. and then hopefully the devs will have a good clear path of where to go. Um, yeah, fair enough. That. So in the first case, um, it was quite simply a case of moving all the calls um, to the APIs and everything out of that whole uh, registry yeah, of the service okay. worker logic. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that you are basically approaching it from the perspective of, ooh, it's kind of a murder has happened. Let's solve this together. And then you team up with the developers, because I've heard other people having a different strategy than yours, where they're basically trying to, to figure out what the problem is and then going to their yeah. developers. Yeah. I mean, it, it can it can work. Um, the problem is with a lot of modern sites these mm -hmm. days, they're, they're built and they go through something like Webpack, the True, JavaScript yeah. is sophisticated. It's a whole um, pipeline. Um, so you can't just see, oh, it's this it's function. This. Mm. You know? True. Um, so at that point, you probably don't have the tools and the information to be able to say exactly where it's failing, just the mm. outcome. And looking at a site that was partially indexed, I guess that must have been even harder to debug. It was, because a good deal of the stuff was, was, there. was indexed, and pages were indexed yeah. in. Unfortunately, it was a, a little block of information, but it was quite an important, important block of information. <laughs> um, one of the things, one of the superpowers service workers give you is to, to work offline. Yeah. And uh, this was information that was relevant for people going out and doing jobs. and you know, Right, kind of, you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, the devs right thought, what a great way to, to make that available so, offline. Yeah. Yes. Which it does. Good thinking. And what they also thought is, we want to get loads of it. So they overtook the normal process of uh, fetching and did it purely within the service worker. I, I did that in the past. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, not, go not going to lie. I, I feel with the devs here. Yeah, it, it was irrational, and it made yeah. sense, and it worked for the for the end yeah, user. Yeah, for, for the end user, just you know? unfortunately not for yeah. search. Yeah, exactly, and unfortunately not for search. And how did that manifest in? So you said you used Search Console and specifically the coverage report. Yeah, you can see how did that... hey, these guys are getting covered. Yeah. Um, they're, they're getting indexed, um, but they're just not surfacing for things they really should surface for. Hmm. You know, someone went in and did a search for mm -hmm. a bit of this content. And it just it was really didn't quite turn unique. Up. Yeah. Just didn't turn no up. Visibility. And then from, from, from that point where you see, like, OK, so it is crawled, because if it's yeah. not crawled, it can't be indexed. It is indexed as well. It's just not serving in search results. Yeah. How did you then figure out like where to go next? Did you then h head over to the devs, or was there like a step in I between? Mean, the first step before you head over to the devs is you just go, is you just not ranking very well for this? Is uh, okay, it yeah. badly? Have you got a lot of competition? Because mm. um, there's not everything's technical. Mm -hmm. in that yeah, of ranking. true. Um, Might be a content so, issue. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so we had a look at the rendered HTML. Mm -hmm. um, if you if you look in Search Console, you I was about to ask, like, where's the render HTML? It, um, use the URL inspector yes. tool. You don't do the live test, just the first step of it. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice little panel. No pretty pictures, but that's not really what matters. No. Um, but you can have a look. Is the HTML there? And sure enough, no sign of that. So uh, that then gives you something to go to the I devs with. I think you can even like search in the rendered HTML. Exactly. And then you type yeah. in the same unique content, and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. This can't show up, because it's not here. Yeah, it's, it's oh. not there. So then that gives you a clear path to go back to the devs. And so basically, like, you yeah. repeat that process. Yeah. How does that get from there? You know, oh. And uh, it's 
it's just break it down oh, that's, steps. That's nice. That's interesting. There's one thing, one opportunity that I think we haven't talked about, and that is actually the developer tools in your browser. Yes. Because you could go into the network inspector and try to find out where does this piece of content come from. Yeah. And I think there it says who or what initiated it. Does. it yeah. Which then you need to go to the devs with, because then it's going to be like app.min.js line one, which is a huge yeah. line of exactly. spaghetti code. Yeah. And you're like, OK, yeah. great. Plus, you can get a little bit muddy with service workers, too, true. because you'll report that you know a lot of stuff has come from the service worker. That is that is true, yeah. And then well. you're like, hmm. But yeah, it gives you a good, yeah. good pass. Yeah. Interesting. You could use the developer tools in the browser as well uh, to disable service workers if you yeah. have a suspicion that it's the service worker. That's but right, yeah. It's a tricky one, probably. Yeah, you just need to go in DevTools if you go mm -hmm. to the application panel. It is a bit hidden, yeah. yeah. Um, you might need me to search to find that in the first place. <laughs> And then there is bypass as well. If you find oh, a service right, worker, yeah. there's a little tick box, bypass. Uh, it actually says bypass on this mm -hmm. network. So it so, always goes on network, yeah. Yeah, so it's just a network that you're on mm -hmm. uh, at that time. It'll then start bypassing the service worker. But you get a great idea of what the site what, will look like yes. when your service worker, the service worker doesn't register or doesn't work. Yeah. Ha, interesting. OK, to recap. You had a client coming in to you, or actually two clients coming in with a site that wasn't indexed at all, and then one was indexed but was missing content. And both of that you could trace through Google Search Console and the URL inspection tools exactly. to be an issue that the devs needed to look at. And then you sure. teamed up with the devs to actually work through that. How did the, the dev part of the process work? So you went to the developers and were like, where is this coming from because it's yeah. missing? Exactly, yeah. So you just get to explain step by step, mm -hmm. you know, which way, well, what function calls that, and then what calls that function. Mm -hmm. And you trace it back um, to the <laughs> origin point of someone coming in. So, uh, And then, then that's where they can work from and that's fix that. I guess that it, should yeah. be a not too hard to fix in some cases. Well, in some yeah. cases, some uh, cases. Certainly in the first case, it was a very easy fix. Yeah. It was literally just Does not function. work for the, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the second case. Work. It was a little bit more finagling what I they needed to do. I can but, imagine, yeah. yeah. I've done weird things as well with service workers. Service workers are great, but also a dangerous tool if you're holding it wrong, as Gary would say. <laughs> Am I holding it wrong? Awesome, Dave. This was a wild ride through the history of tracing a bug in service work or with service workers in Googlebot. Um, Thanks so, so much for being here with me today you're and welcome. telling the story. And for all of you out there, do let me know in the comments what was your weirdest experience and how did the developers respond to it when you were um, asking them about what's going on there. And uh, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel to see upcoming episodes and other content that we put out. Um, stay safe, take care, and bye bye. Not creepy. How dare you? Fairies are real. Fairies are real. <laughs>